A worldwide leader in the cosmetics industry, L'Oreal, develops innovative products to meet the diverse needs of customers in 130 countries worldwide. L'Oreal got its start in the hair color business, but the company soon branched out into other cleansing and beauty products. L'Oreal now markets over 500 brands and many thousands of individual products in all sectors of the beauty business. Hair color, permanents, styling aids, body and skin care, cleansers and fragrances. L'Oreal has created an international brand portfolio for consumers with a wide range of incomes and tastes in 140 countries. And we know that L'Oreal has certainly occupied a unique position in the fast-paced global beauty environment. L'Oreal always copes up with the new markets and new customers as well as reflecting upon wide variations between countries and cultures in their concepts of beauty. L'Oreal was recognized by the World Diversity Leadership Council for its diversity initiatives and, in particular, for its innovative products launched by its brands. This is the first time that L'Oreal received an international recognition for the cultural diversity of its products. Customers are seen as ever-changing until they find one product which they prefer. Keeping this in mind, L'Oreal designed products that met it every specific group's needs. Consumers believe that cosmetics are normally considered as a luxury product. Their cultural and social diversity made them think about a product. And similarly, the company when designing a product must be aware about their consumer social and cultural beliefs. What will happen if they ignore their consumer's social and cultural beliefs? Hello students. Welcome to the lecture on social and cultural environment. And here we will understand how social and cultural environment determine consumer buying behavior. After this lecture, we will be able to learn the following objectives. Define economic and demographic environments. Explain the cross-cultural and socio-cultural influences. Discuss the reference groups and family influences. Understand the personal influence. Let's start with a brief introduction to social and cultural environment. The relationship between the environment and economic development may be accessed from two different points of view. One point of view is that factors like political climate, governmental policies and culture in the environment affects economic development. A second viewpoint is the manner in which the activities associated with economic development affect the environment. Environment and economic development are linked in the sense that the factors in place in the environment have a huge impact on the rate of economic development for a region. A country with a politically unstable reputation will not be able to attract necessary investors and businesses from interested investors both within and outside the country. Let us now discuss the economic and demographic environment. An economic environment is the total number of economic factors that make up the economy of the nation. Economic factors are broken down into two separate environments. Microeconomic and macroeconomic. The microeconomic environment includes information relating to the economic situations of individuals in society. The macroeconomic environment includes 
economic factors relating to the aggregate economic information of business industries, sectors, or other particular groups of individuals and businesses. An important economic factor is the inflation or deflation that alters the purchasing power of the nation's currency. Marketing firms used demographic data when launching new sales campaigns. Analysts study the demographic data for certain area and then develop ways to market products to the types of people that are most prevalent in that area. Macro environment. A macro environment comprises the external factors that can influence a business. These factors are often out of the control or management ability of a company. Technological changes in the last few decades have transformed the way companies do business in the macro environment. Websites, internet-based software, and fulfillment centers allow companies to sell goods and services in national and international economic markets. Companies can also improve production output and lower costs through technological additions to their company. Now, we will study about cross-cultural and socio-cultural influences. Culture is a term that encompasses areas of human activity and interest. It is the interrogation pattern of human behavior that includes thoughts, communications, actions, customs, beliefs, values, and institutions of a race, ethnic, religious or social group. If cultural settings are misunderstood or ignored in different regions, then the risk of failure to a business is enormous. In this age of the global marketplace aided by the use of the internet, the need to understand and adapt to cross-cultural issues is at its greatest. In business terms, specifically a global business with offices throughout the world, Culture becomes critical to a firm's success. It is where balance between consistency and adaption is essential and must be addressed in a cohesive and intelligent sense. Sociocultural theory. Sociocultural theory is an emerging theory in psychology that looks at the important contributions that society makes to individual development. This theory stresses the interaction between developing people and the culture in which they live. Concept of culture. Culture is a complex system of behavior, values, beliefs, traditions, and artifacts which is transmitted through generations. Culture is a learned pattern of behavior and is a way in which a person lives their life. It is an integral part of every society and creates a feeling of belonging and togetherness among the people of that society. Culture encompasses various aspects of communication, attitude, etiquette, beliefs, values, customs, norms, food, art, jewelry, clothing, styles, etc. Definitions Culture is considered to be a complex term and a variety of anthropologists and researchers have defined it in various ways. Manifestations. Lloyd Quast's model of culture and his Man from Mars technique helped to get a better understanding of culture through the different levels or layers through which culture is manifested. Behavior. What is done? The first thing the alien notices is the behavior of the people and their activities, dressing style, attitudes, etc. Values. What is good or best? On asking them about the reasons for their activities, they come to know that people choose to indulge in activities that are considered good. Beliefs. What is true? On interrogation, one realizes that these values are not decided arbitrarily, but stimulated.
stem from beliefs, worldview, what's real. The deepest level of understanding that forms the basis for a particular set of beliefs is worldview. Characteristics of culture. Culture refers to the pattern of human activity and the symbols that give significance to these activities. Culture manifests itself in terms of the art, literature, costumes, customs, language, religion, and religious rituals. The people and their pattern of life make up the culture of a region. Cultures vary in the different parts of the world. There are different across the land. Boundaries and the diversity in cultures results in the diversity in people around the world. Culture is learned. The members of a culture share certain ideals which shape their lives. Generations learn to follow these ideals and principles. Culture propagates through generations which adopt their old customs and traditions as part of their culture. The ideals they base their lives on is a part of their culture. Cultural values are imparted from one generation to another, thus resulting in a continual of traditions that are part of culture. Significance, the knowledge necessary for survival and adaption to the natural and social environment is acquired through culture. Culture is what imbibes into the knowledge of good and bad, acceptable and not acceptable, socializing, etc. Animal culture. Some people believe that humans are the only living beings who follow a culture. However, Others argue that culture, being a learned pattern of behavior, is exhibited by animals and birds as well. Cultural values. Culture is that invisible bond which ties the people of a community together. It refers to the pattern of human activity, the art, literature, language, and religion of a community represent the community's culture. Culture manifests itself through the lifestyle of the individuals of the community. A moral value of the people of the community also represent their culture. Social stratification. Social stratification refers to a system by which a society ranks categories of people in a hierarchy. Social stratification is based on some major principles. Social stratification is a trait of society, not simply a reflection of individual differences. Social stratification persists over generations. Social stratification is universal. It happens everywhere, but variable. It takes different forms across different societies. Social stratification involves not just inequality, but beliefs as well. Inequality is rooted in a society's philosophy. The functions of social stratification, structural functionalism. Structural functionalists argue that social inequality plays a vital role in the smooth operation of society. Stratification and conflict, social conflict theory. Social conflict theorists disagree that social stratification is functional for a society. Instead, they argue that social stratification benefits some at the expense of others. Did you know lifestyle, a term proposed by Austrian psychologist Alfred Adler in 1929, refers to the way an individual stays in the society. Let's get to know about reference groups and family influences. Reference groups are people in a consumer's micro-social environment who are salient or relevant for the consumer. Reference groups can influence an individual's cognitions, affective responses, and behaviors. The many types of reference groups include formal, informal, primary, secondary, membership, aspirational, and dissociative.
Combinations of these are possible. An informal group is not specifically structured with a clear mission. A primary group involves face-to-face -face interactions. Families and peer groups are the most commonly studied informal primary groups because they impact many product behaviors. Formal secondary groups would have little or no face-to-face -face interaction and would have specific structure or mission. Professional societies would be example. Types of reference groups. Broadly speaking, based on the kind of contact, regularity, frequency, direct, indirect, reference groups could be of two kinds, viz. primary reference groups and secondary reference groups, such groups with which a person has direct face-to-face -face contact and where a direct influence occurs is known as a primary reference group. Contractual group. A contractual group is defined as a group where people hold membership, meet face to face, and have interaction, and where people abide by the values, norms, opinions, and judgments that the group entails. Aspirational group. An aspirational group is one in which a person does not have a membership and does not interact face to face but they aspire to become a member. The group values and norms have a positive impact on the person who desires membership to such a group. Disclaimant groups. Here, a person holds membership with the group but does not believe in the values, norms, attitudes, and behavior of the group and its members. So. The person acts as a deviant and behaves in a manner that is in opposition to how others in the group behave. Avoidance group. As the term denotes, this group is one where a person does not have membership, and they also disapprove of the values, norms, attitudes, and behavior. Advantages and problems associated with reference group influence. Several distinctions are made between types of reference groups, formal versus informal, primary versus secondary, and membership versus aspirational versus dissociative. Marketers face several difficulties in working with reference groups. First, marketers have to identify the relevant reference group for their product. Usually, they will find that controlling or influencing the groups is difficult. Predicting effects on consumers' behaviors is difficult, especially in the face of multiple conflicting influences. There are three basic types of reference groups, informational, utilitarian, and value expressive. Influence of reference groups varies by product. The influence of reference groups varies according to the nature of the product and or service. Bearden and Etzel have examined the issue from two perspectives, viz. the decision to purchase the type of product and the choice of the brand. They conclude that reference groups influence varied by the type of product, whether it is a luxury or a necessity and its visibility whether it is used in public or private settings or environment. The role of reference group influence in consumer behavior. Consumption goods as meaningful symbols are appropriate to fulfill the individual's need for self-presentation. Thus, people buy certain products not only because of their functional attributes, but also because of the message they mediate. Branding and advertising apparently play a central role in the process of associating a symbolical meaning to products. This way, product utility consists of two factors. You can talk about actual functional utility and image utility. The latter reflects the social approval that belongs to the owner of the product, as well as the feeling of inferiority 
that other consumers suffer due to the social norm that favors the possession of the given product. A reference group is a group with whom an individual identifies to the point where the group dictates a standard of behavior. Reference groups exert tremendous influence on consumers' hospitality and tourism purchase decisions. Every individual is influenced directly and indirectly. Marketing research has identified three types of reference groups, comparative, status, and normative. Individual consumers use reference groups to compare their own feelings and thoughts with those of others. For example, an individual may have gone to dinner at a restaurant and felt that the food and service were excellent. Before these perceptions are internalized, however, a reference group is often consulted to validate the perceptions. An individual may check with friends who are members of a reference group, asking for their perceptions of the restaurant. The individual will then compare their friends' perceptions against their own. In many cases, the perceptions of a reference group can influence purchase and repeat purchase behavior. Reference groups also serve a status function. For example, when an individual seeks to become a member of a group, his or her actions are likely to emulate the group's members' behaviors. If someone looks up to a reference group as a source of status, he or she is likely to model the behavior exhibited by the members of the reference group. Reference group establish norms and values that regulate the behavior of individuals. For example, consider a high school age reference group dining out. The group norm may state that patronizing chain restaurant A is more desirable than going to locally owned restaurant B. Yet, objective analysis indicates that restaurant B's product service mix is superior. The group's norms and values might still point toward the established chain restaurant. Simply put, dining at restaurant A is cool and dining at restaurant B is not. Consumer behavior helps to understand the buying tendencies and spending patterns of consumers. Not all individuals would prefer to buy similar products. Consumer behavior deals with as to why and why not an individual purchases particular products and services. Occupation. The occupation of an individual plays a significant role in influencing his or her buying decision. An individual's nature of job has a direct influence on the products and brands he or she picks for himself or herself. For example, Tim was working with an organization as Chief Executive Officer, while Jack, Tim's friend, now a retired professor, went to a nearby school as a part-time faculty. Tim always looked for premium brands which would go with his designation, whereas Jack preferred brands which were not very expensive. Tim was really conscious about the clothes he wore, the cologne he used, the watch he wore, whereas Jack never really bothered about all of this. That is the importance of one's designation. As a CEO of an organization, it was really essential for Tim to wear something really elegant and unique for others to look up to him. A CEO, or for that matter, a senior professional, can never afford to wear cheap labels and local brands to work. An individual's designation and their nature of work influence their buying decisions. One would never find a low-level worker purchasing business suits or ties for themselves. An individual working on the shop floor cannot afford to wear premium brands every day to work. College goers and students would prefer casuals as compared to professionals who would be more interested in buying formal shirts and trousers. Age. 
Age and human life cycle also influence the buying behavior of consumers. Teenagers would be more interested in buying bright and loud colors as compared to a middle-aged or er elderly individuals who would prefer decent and subtle designs. Economic condition. The buying tendency of an individual is directly proportional to their income earnings per month. How much an individual brings home decides how much they will spend and on which products. Individuals with high income would buy expensive and premium products as compared to individuals from middle and lower income group who would spend mostly on necessary items. One would hardly find an individual from a low income group spending money on designer clothes and watches. They would be more interested in buying grocery items or products necessary for their survival. Lifestyle. It is really important for some people to wear branded clothes, whereas some individuals are really not brand conscious. An individual staying in a posh locality needs to maintain their status and image. An individual's lifestyle is something to do with their style, attitude, perception, their social relations, and immediate surroundings. Personality. An individual's personality also affects their buying behavior. Every individual has his or her own characteristic personality traits, which reflect in his or her buying behavior. Now, in the end, let us summarize what we have learned in this lecture. A country with a politically unstable reputation will not be able to attract necessary investors and businesses from interested investors, both within and outside the country. An economic environment is the total number of economic factors that make up the economy of the nation. General economic factors in the macro environment include supply and demand, number of competitors in the market, availability of economic resources, and efficient production methods employed by companies. Culture is that complex whole which includes knowledge, belief, art, morals, law, customs, and other capabilities and habits acquired by man as a member of society. Reference groups are people in a consumer's micro-social environment who are salient or relevant for the consumer.